Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Bazer and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and I work as a food and nutrition coordinator in the Center for Health Disparities, Innovations and Studies. Thank you to Xavier University for hosting this health disparities conference and for the opportunity to share this special project during the COVID-19 pandemic. And thanks to my colleagues who are listed here as well, Dr. Rainville, Dr. Ford and Dr. Wu who contributed to this project. We work on a cooperative agreement with the CDC known as REACH, or Racial and Ethnic Approaches to Community Health. Our, our priority population is Asian Americans in West and Southeast Michigan. Supplemental funding was made available to REACH teams for addressing vaccine hesitancy and access disparities. In order to learn how to best serve our priority population on these goals, we conducted a needs assessment. One of the methods we utilized for collecting needs assessment data was listening sessions. So we had Asian American community partners that recruited four to eight participants for each listening session. The participant groups were separated by ethnicity. We had Bangladeshi, Burmese, Filipino, Korean, and Yemeni and Arab. Um, the listening sessions were recorded on Zoom, transcribed, and then we created a theme analysis from the transcripts. The listening sessions were typically an hour long. And then we also had separate, separate sessions for men and women in the Bangladeshi community because that um, is their religious practice. And then um, for the results, most participants had been vaccinated and were accepting of the COVID-19 vaccines. Um, the Filipino session listening session group explained that this is most likely because they come from a country where vaccination is expected and begins at an early age. Participants shared that older generations were more likely, likely to be concerned about COVID-19 and have difficulty with the online format of registering for vaccination. So the younger generations help them access the vaccines. Some of the barriers we found to accessing the COVID-19 vaccines were city borders, which made it, confuse, um, made it confusing for people to know where to go, and also language barriers. Internet was another barrier because a lot of people didn't know where to look for a vaccine online. Misinformation was mentioned as a big problem on social media and participants said that media messaging had been confusing. So the research team asked each group what communication strategies would be most helpful in their community. So here are a few quotes. Um, the Asian community is more receptive to vaccines. That's from the Filipino group. I see a lot of young people bringing their parents and grandparents to get vaccinated, which is good from the Bangladeshi women's group. Um, and the last one in the beginning, when this vaccine was introduced, there was a lot of mixed information, apprehension and reluctance about getting the vaccine. That's from the Filipino group. Now for our conclusions, um, the communities were able to overcome these challenges and barriers to accessing COVID-19 vaccines, including city borders, internet access, and language barriers. We developed tailored communication campaigns and messages. These messages focused on correcting misconceptions and clarifying access questions surrounding COVID-19 vaccines. Another communication um, campaign we developed was a series of messages for imams, local Muslim religious leaders to read at the mosque after the prayer. And then some uh, tailored communication messages that we created um, in flyer form. Um, there's an example here on the right about vaccine ingredients. Um, other examples of messages were, why should I still get vaccinated if I can still get COVID-19? If vaccines affect menstruation and fertility and frequently ask questions for young people. Partners like these religious leaders from mosques and churches really elevated our work and their role was critical to help deliver evidence-based messages and promote vaccinations. Thanks for listening.